Hey guys, what's up? Chaps here with Jess and Schwartz, and today we're going to be talking about some of our predictions for E3. For those of you who don't know, the Microsoft press conference for E3 is going to be this Sunday, um, afternoon-ish, sometime Eastern time. I'll put the time up on the screen. I actually don't remember what it is. I did not know that, actually, so yeah, <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> All right, so... They've got three games that they're going to talk about this year. Uh, Gears 5, Gears Pop, and Gears Tactics. Well, I assume that they're going to talk about those three again and probably not add a fourth onto there. Um, and they're probably going to talk about them all back to back. So when do you guys think they're actually going to talk about them in the press conference? Like Right after Gears Racing. It'll oh, be like... God. <laughs> I don't know. I, something tells me that they're going to lead with like Halo. Um... No, they're not going to lead with Halo. Really? You don't think so? I don't think they'll lead. I think they'll finish with that. Okay. Maybe. That's just what I think. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I feel like it's it'll be one of their... I mean, it's one of their flagship games. Because, so I mean, they, tr be... they normally try to put a flagship like right at the beginning, one right at the end, and one in the middle. The one at the end is normally a little bit more surprising, I think. Mm. So, I don't know. And then, I mean, like last year they added that... like even post, like, almost after the end, they put up that, like, Project Red one. Or something, right? I don't remember. I don't remember. All right. Well, what, what I'd do you say th middle. You think middle? Middle. Yeah, that's where I'm going to go. Yeah, I, I was thinking middle as well. So, what order do you think? Gears Pop, Tactics, or Five? I want to say they lead with Five. Well, I, I kind of want to say they'll do five last, but really? they did that last year. I think it's going to be Tactics 5 and then Pop, honestly. I feel like they might... Or Tactics 5 and then Pop, I think. I'd go with that. Tactics I can five. see that. So let's get the two smaller ones out of the way first. Let's, let's start with Gears Pop. That's the one that I think is probably going to be shown last right now the state of pop of course i don't know if you even know gears like anything about it gears pop is their mobile game that uh honestly it's not my uh it's not my cup of tea to, so that to is say. all that i know about it that it is a mobile game and it is not your cup of tea yeah he doesn't like tea yeah i don't i know right so i really don't like gears pop but uh gears pop it's in it's like almost a closed beta type thing. It's I forget what the term they use for it is, but they're slowly rolling it out to different regions and allowing uh, a certain number of people to play it in order to essentially beta test it in the open. So that's the current state of it. My my biggest prediction is that they're going to announce like at E three. As of right now, it is an open beta, so anyone can. It's still like technically a beta and not published, but it's open for anyone to download. Do you think it'll be in beta still? I mean, I think it will be in beta in the same sense that like is Fortnite still in beta okay. or whatever. Like Fair. it was out for like two years, still in their technical beta sense, so that they could like put out updates and stuff and not worry about having an unfinished AAA product. Yeah. Yeah, I could see it being available to everyone. Think there's going to be any other announcements for it? For Pop? For Pop? I did, couldn't say. I don't, I don't even know, know what, what to say. Announced. Honestly, Pop is such a small game. I I could almost see them like not even talking about it during the press conference and just doing their like Microsoft All Access press conference things that they do throughout E3, maybe bring it up then. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. To me, it's such a small game. Like, yeah. I, I mean, it's not my thing, so I don't know. What about tactics? Think we're going to see anything big from it? Yes. <laughs> I think we'll see a little bit more gameplay. And yeah, I'm hoping it, they'll have they a... Uh, hoping they announce it'll come to consoles. Yeah. I didn't even think about what they sh would show for it. My biggest prediction for tactics was that they would announce that it is coming to Xbox One 
and that it will have keyboard and mouse support on Xbox One. Hmm. Being that they're designing it around PC, so a keyboard and mouse type thing. They And Xbox One does support keyboard and mouse if the game will enable it, so... Do you think they'll have a little bit of gameplay? Like, a couple people out there playing? I don't think they'll dedicate that much time to it, and, like, bringing people out to play, but maybe. I can see, like, a gameplay video, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Anything else for pop or tactics? I think those are the two really quick ones. All right, let's, really. let's move on to the big one, then, and that's Gears 5. So, to start off, they, they're they probably going to be announcing the release date, right? Probably. I would hope so. Um, I feel like that's one thing that they could sort of, like, close the Gears section with, almost. Or, like, the Gears 5 section, close it with, by the way, here's the release date, or something. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you think for the... So, I guess the current rumor is September 10th, and that was from... Mm. A, yeah, that it was from a, a leak. Early. That's from a leak. Nobody knows whether or not it's true. That is my brother's birthday. And the day before uh, our good buddy Parasidian's birthday. So. Parasidian's birthday is September... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. I would imagine it would be, like, November or something I was like hoping that. November. Yeah. I mean... I'd love to get it sooner, like, so September sounds really good, but that's the earliest I would have expected it. Part of me is like, okay, yeah, let's just wait till November so that we uh, have more time with it. Yeah, I'd even wait till, I'd say October, just, I don't know. I know, was it, was it Gears 3, or one of the Gears games was released in September, and that was fine, I don't know, I just uh, 3, I think. I think 3 was September 20th. Yeah, I, I, I would think more mid to late fall, but that's just me. Also, I need to finish Borderlands 3 before I start this bad boy, because I'm yeah. going to dedicate a lot of time to it. Um, so, let's do two assumptions. One, we'll, let's assume it's coming out in September, like the rumor says. Do you think we're going to get any sort of beta or demo or anything for it? No. You don't think so? I don't know. If it comes out in September, I could... I, I almost kind of see it being, like, the surprise announcement... At E3 is, oh, the beta's open now. But, no. like but you see they have that eSports unveil in July, so... <laughs> yeah, I think it's July 13th. Oh, okay. It's like 13th, 14th, something like that. Like, right in the middle of July is the first time that we're going to see Gears 5 multiplayer. Yeah, and even if they release a beta after that, I don't see it being of that much use right. to the final game. So, alternate, what if they release in November? Do you think then I could see it? Do you think having a beta drop like mid July, like right when that thing's going live, would uh? I can see that. Would be nice. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, so that's kind of release date stuff. There's also Gears of War Ascension. I think that's the name of it, right? We were just talking about this earlier. Ascendance, the the new book that kicks off after Gears 4, and mm-hmm. it picks up, or kicks off right after Gears 4, and it leaves off right before Gears 5, sort of fills in that gap for us. Mm-hmm. Um, first of all, I'm kind of wondering if the final chapter is actually going to, uh, like, be that ent- intro sequence to Gears 5 that we saw last year at uh, E3. Oh, that would be That'd interesting. be interesting if it ran up to that. Schwartz, your camera is insane right now. <laughs> Pixel um, Schwartz! <laughs> Can you turn it off and back on? <laughs> yeah. What was up with it? Um, it is highly pixelated. <laughs> mm, okay. Um, uh, I'm going to call it the book will release first week in August. I'm going to call it. Yeah, I. my guess was early to mid-August for book release. That's, that's if the September... I think like a month to month and a half before the game launches is when we'll see the uh, the book come out. Hmm. Who's the author? I don't know. It's not Karen Travis, if that's what you're wondering. <laughs> so I'll look it up for you. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, they're not going to, like, announce the beta starts right now. They might announce a beta at E3. I don't know. 
they might save that as like the surprise announcement for the tournament in July. But being that multiplayer is not going to be shown at E3 at all, what do you th- what do you think they are going to show? Do you think they're going to stick to their standard like campaign, or do you think they're going to bring in Horde? Uh, campaign probably early chapter, like last time. So you think, act instead of just showing a cutscene and a trailer type thing, they're actually gonna have gameplay? Yeah. I guess Gears yeah, has done know. that a lot, right? Yeah. It's also Jason M. Huff shorts. Okay. Never heard of him. Right. I'm gonna have to check it out. But yeah, I think it's just gonna be early gameplay. What about? Uh... Um, oh, go ahead. Shorts. I didn't realize that they weren't going to have um, multiplayer at E3, so like I would have thought they'd add all three, just because yeah. they haven't heard much. And if it is dropping as soon as we think the, the rumor mill says, then they're going to have to give some kind of indication of what's going on. So yeah, I don't know. I would think that we'd see something Horde-related, maybe not like an in-depth kind of showcase, but when did they show released. Horde? Um, it for was Gears Four. Like. I don't know if it's East or West. I think it was like a PAX thing, though. Oh, it was PAX West. Okay. Yeah. Because... What is that? I don't know. You should look that up. So, Gears 4 launched early October, and at E3 that year, they still hadn't even announced that there was going to be a Horde mode in the game. Everyone kind of assumed, but they still hadn't announced it. So, PAX West is August 30th through September 2nd. So if it's launching September 10th, that's way too late for them to, yeah, do that. I, uh, I don't. I hope they, cause I hope they, I want them to announce something other than campaign because I feel like if that's all they announce, just like they did last time, then we're gonna end up with the same situation where all we have is a bunch of campaign spoilers and. Yeah. Ooh, that is a tough one. But if it's early enough, early on enough, I mean. They say that they've learned from their mistakes last time. So, like, they could show off some basic campaign stuff, announce Horde, and then, like, their news cycle between now and that July multiplayer showcase could be them, like, discussing Horde a little bit so that they don't have to rely on campaign for their marketing stuff. So I could see that working. Additions and season pass. So if they announce the release, too soon. Too soon. What? Oh. <laughs> so hurting from the last. One. Yeah. What if they go the uh, Call of Duty route and there is no season pass? Yeah, I'd be curious about that. Um, I assume that they'll announce different editions of the game, like their epic, not epic edition, the Coalition edition, <laughs> whatever. That Alt- sounds good. The Black Tusk Coalition Edition. Black Tusk Edition. Uh, I assume they'll announce that, and then, yeah, I don't know if they'll talk about season pass at all. Um, I don't know. Season passes are one of those things I'd like to see die. Uh, yeah. Quick death. Especially when Gears Four didn't actually have a season pass; they had something they called a season pass. Yeah. So, that's all the real, like, gear stuff. What about um, next-gen Xbox? Like, we're not going to go into a detailed discussion here, but one, do you think they're going to announce it? The Xbox 2. I mean, they just did the... Didn't they do the X last year? Was the X last year? I don't, I don't It's know. been out for more than a year, I think. But oh, it, it, God, they just keep was, new, making new stuff. Well, like, so the thing would be they would announce it this year. <laughs> And then next year they would give more details and maybe have a 2020, 2021 uh, release for it. So. Say 20 again. 2020, 2021. <laughs> <laughs> 2020, 21 hours go. <laughs> um, but like, so if they announce a next gen one, I'm curious if they're going to be like, yeah, Gears 5 is going to be 4K 60 frames per second on our next gen console. I don't know what to say about this. <laughs> you don't want you them think... to announce a new console. Not really. 
I mean, I've had mine since they had, the Xbox Ones came out, so I wouldn't mind getting a new one, but... Yeah, same. I'm they're like about... iPhones now. It just comes out every year, I guess. I don't know. I'm afraid this guy's going to die on me, because I got that, like, right when the original Xbox Ones came out. Oh, really? I have two, just so you know. <laughs> I do, too. But one yeah. of them doesn't work. Yeah, but Jess has a really, like, rare white Ultimate Edition Xbox that she won yeah, in yeah. an online contest, and I... All my luck was used for that. <laughs> yeah. All right. I do think... you think that they're... Um, do you think that they'll, like, for the next generation, they'll do, like, they'll have the the high-powered console and their your average console at launch, or do you think they'll do it where, I like, they, the X... And I think whatever. they probably would. They'll have a high power and a low power one. Because they you want... I don't think they'll stagger it again where like the X comes out a couple years later or something like that? I think they're going to need to have a really, really powerful thing in order to like convince people to upgrade from the X to the new generation. But they're not going to want to like pigeonhole themselves into only having that like $1,000 console or whatever. So they're going to need to have a lower and barrier to entry. That makes sense. So it won't be like the Xbox One Sad Edition? <laughs> That thing is ridiculous. All right, you guys have anything else, like prediction-wise for E three? Any anything you were excited about? I Ex- think Rod does the, Oh wait, uh, gears related? Yeah. So actually, Schwartz, is there anything gears related that you wanted to add? Serious? No. I was gonna say I think Rod does the um, conference in a tutu, but nice, nice. The joke is lost. So let's close out the video on. What are you most excited for at E3 this year, like, outside of Gears? Ori! Ori? Ori was cool. I've been interested in that. I've actually never played Ori. Oh, you'd like it. I, I feel like I would. Um, it looks really fucking good, too. Yeah. Dude, I've lost track of what games are coming out recently, honestly. So, I don't yeah. know. This could just be a, a blank slate. I could be surprised by everything at E3 this are we, year. Are we just talking about the Xbox presser? Uh, what? Do you have another thing in general? Well, Dude, I, know, I mean, Borderlands. I know they're gonna announce a Dark Sider, another Dark Sider uh, game. Oh, nice. And Borderlands three, more, more of that stuff. Yeah. So. If they announced uh, like, uh, Last of Us two, my head might explode. Oh. That'd be cool. I uh, I think I'm most looking for outside of Gears. I'm most I don't play that many games anymore, so I'm most looking forward to seeing what they have to show for next-gen consoles if they show anything. And I'm also really excited that Sony isn't going to be at E3 this year, and neither is EA. There's a bunch of groups that are not going to be there, and Hmm. so we're not going to be seeing that, like, whole who won E3, Xbox or Sony (laughs) type debate. Because that was really annoying last year. I'm sure, no, you'll still see it. I can guarantee that. Yeah, that's a good point. (laughs) We'll probably still see it. It'll, It'll be there. But maybe it won't be as, uh, you know, obvious. Yeah. Oh, one last thing to close on. Gears Tactics. Is it going to be on Steam? Yes. Sure. I mean... That hasn't been announced, has it? Gears 5 is on Steam, but... has Gears Tactics been... it hasn't, but... Why wouldn't it be? Right? Exactly. I mean, Gears 5 is there, so why not? Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it, everyone. Those are our predictions for the Microsoft press conference for E3 this year. So let us know in the comments below what you guys expect to see. Um, So, yeah, we'll probably do a post E3 video as well. So see you guys then. Yeah, that'll have, like, actual substance. (laughs) (laughs) See you guys later.